Consider a prism A, B, C. A prism is a piece of transparent material bounded by three rectangular surfaces forming a triangle. Let A, B be the surface of the incidence and B, C be the base of the prism. When a ray of light traveling in a straight line in a transparent homogeneous medium with a certain velocity enters another transparent medium in which it has different velocity. So, it bends at the boundary of the two media and then travels again on a straight line in another medium. Here, RQ is the incident ray, QS is the refracted ray and ST is the emergent ray. When a normal is drawn, on the surface of the prism AB at a point Q, the angle between the normal and the incident ray is called the angle of incidence and it is denoted by I. When you extend the incident ray in the forward direction and emergent ray in the backward direction, they make an angle D which is called the angle of deviation. Refraction is a phenomena of bending a ray of light at the boundary of two optical media when a light ray is passing from one optical medium to another. AIM To determine refractive index of a material of a prism by ID curve method The apparatus used in this experiment are Prism Drawing board Drawing pins Office pins White paper Protractor Graph paper Pencil And a half meter scale
refractive index of prism observations observation table for angle of incidence i and angle of deviation d when the angle of incidence i is equal to 35 degree the angle of deviation d was 46 degree similarly for the angle of incidence i is equal to 40 degree d is equal to 42 degrees similarly for the angle of incidence i is equal to 45 degrees d is equal to 40 degrees i is equal to 50 degrees d is equal to 38 degrees i is equal to 55 degrees d is equal to 42 degrees i is equal to 60 degrees d is equal to 45 degrees using the values of i and d we plot a id graph taking i angle of incidence on x axis and d angle of deviation on y axis we select a suitable scale on x axis 1 cm is equal to 5 degree on y axis 1 cm is equal to 5 degree and origin is 30 degree comma 30 degree now let us plot the points on the graph for x is equal to 35 degree y is equal to 46 degree x 40 degrees y 42 degrees x 45 degrees y 40 degrees x 50 degrees y 38 degrees x 55 degrees y 42 degrees x 60 degrees y 45 degrees after plotting all the points on the graph we need to join all the points using a free hand such that the line passes through the maximum number of points now the lowest point on the line is identified and a perpendicular is drawn on the y axis the y coordinates gives the value of angle of minimum deviation dm here the angle of minimum deviation is 39 degrees angle of prism fix a white paper on the drawing board with the help of a drawing pins now place the prism on the paper and trace its edges and mark the corners as a b c draw two parallel lines such that a lies symmetrically between them after that fix two pins p and q on one of the lines now looking through the face of ab fix two pins r and s in such a way that the reflective image of p and q and the pins r and s all lie in a straight line without any parallax here pq represents the incident ray and rs represents the reflected ray now we repeat the same procedure on the surface ac so that the reflective images of ef and pins gh all lie in a straight line without any parallax extend the rays rs and gh backward so that they meet at a point o here the angle rog 
is twice the angle A of the prism. Here, angle ROG is equal to 120 degrees and the angle A is equal to 120 by 2 which is 60 degrees. Therefore, the angle of prism is 60 degrees. After obtaining the angle of prism, A is equal to 60 degrees, we can now calculate the refractive index of the prism using the formula mu is equal to sin A plus dm by 2 by sin A by 2. dm can be obtained from the ID graph which is 39 degrees. Therefore, mu is equal to sin 60 plus 39 degrees by 2 by sin 60 degrees by 2 which is mu is equal to sin 49.5 degrees by sin 30 degrees which is 2 sin 49.5 degrees therefore mu is equal to 1.520 the angle of incidence of the incident ray should lie between 30 degree to 60 degree. The pins should be fixed vertically and the pin pricks should be encircled after they are removed. A minimum distance of 10 cm should be maintained between the two pins. Arrowheads should be marked to represent the direction of the incident and emergent rays. For all observations, you should use the same angle of prism.